Okay guys, so for today's project, we're gonna need some sheets of cardboard. I think I have four. Good scissors, a marker. Now I could use a pencil, but I thought you could see it better with a marker, so that's why I did that. Some school glue, and then, you know what? I forgot to get the gingerbread colored paint. This is gonna be a little Christmas haul pretty soon. But let me dig through this and get the paint, and then we're gonna need to, oh, we're gonna have to go to Walmart and get a, a paint gun to do the like white parts because I totally forgot to do that. You guys ever go to Walmart and end up with more things than you went in there for? Thought I'd show you guys in case any of you, you know, wanted to see what I got. I ended up with oranges and grapefruit because I've really been into juicing lately. I'm actually thinking about doing a juicing challenge on my channel. It's just one juice or smoothie a day. Um, thinking about doing it between now and January 1st. If any of you guys want to see that, let me know. I'll just be posting like what I'm making. You don't actually have to join if you don't want to. Got what I went for and then I was going to show you these kombuchas if you like kombucha. Walmart has this one right now and it is so good. And then I saw this one. Anything peach, I have to give it a try. So I'm really excited about this one. Let's see how good that is. But let's try this peach kombucha and then we'll get back to our um, little crafting project. All right, let's try the peach one. Hmm, yeah, that's really good. Like if you like peach and you like um, kombucha, you'll really like that one. Delicious. Okay, so this is the paint that, oh, looking <laughs> at the camera. Okay, this is the paint that I got. It's just the cheap stuff from Hobby Lobby, raw umber. It looks a little lighter than like your traditional gingerbread, I think, but that's gonna go better with the colors I'm doing in that room. So there's the color there. You can see it a little bit better. I think it's gonna turn out really good. Now we can get started. We actually have all of the things. So again, cardboard, scissors, marker, glue, paint, and then a white paint pen just for all the like icing parts. But you could totally freehand it. I'm not gonna do that. I don't think that would turn out very well. Anyway, I'm pretty excited about this. So let's draw it out and kind of get started. Well, I don't have an exact plan for these. I'm just kind of kind of wing it, but I did I did draw these little kind of rough sketches of some shapes that I liked. So let's, I think we're going to start with something really simple first, maybe this one, and see how it goes, and then we'll go from there. This is the shelf where it's going to go. So I need to measure and see how wide they can be, how tall they can be, because the mirror's right there, and then and then how many I need to stretch across there. I'm thinking maybe four or five. Okay, so the width is 28 inches. Okay, so they can be five to six inches tall, three and a half inches deep, and 28 inches wide total. There they are, all painted. I thought they might need two coats, but to be 49 cents, that paint covered pretty well. I'm gonna let them dry, and then I think I'm just gonna glue them together, maybe later tonight, and then I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow and show you how they look, and then we'll finish them up. Okay guys, it's a new day. As you can see, I've simplified the project. I was gonna make them 3D, like this box one, but I couldn't get the glue to dry. I tried sewing it. That worked, but this, this took me like an hour to do. And I realized it's just too big for the space now. It's too chunky. So what I did, I basically just kept the outline. These are still, chimneys are drying a little bit. But I just kept the outline shape and kept them kind of thin. So, you know, like the wooden ones you get at Target that are like an inch thick. Well, this isn't an inch, but 
nice and thin and they'll sit up because that shelf that I showed you, you know, these will be able to sit up on that. So now's the fun part. We get to put the icing, AKA the white paint. I wasn't going to make any trees, but I had these extra pieces and don't they look like little Christmas trees? So we're going to try this and um, I'm going to decorate. I'm going to actually use different kinds of trees, but anyway, let's get started. This is the fun part. So we'll see how they turn out. I can open this paint pen. Tension twist, okay. That is not working for me. Ah. Okay, so far, that's what we have. As you can see, it's super simple. Now that I've eliminated that step of making them 3D, this, this will be such a fun project to do with kids. Just cut the shapes, paint them. I'm just gonna leave it kind of like this. Um, there's like a pottery barn kind of style that I'm kind of going for. Of course, theirs looks better, but this is made out of cardboard. But anyway, I think that's pretty cute for the first one. Um, let's try another one, see how we do. This one. That one. Okay, here they are all done. This was so much fun. I really enjoyed the decorating part. Um, it turned into such a simple project. Let me know which one's your favorite and if you're going to do this project. I think it'd be so much fun for kids or really anyone who, will, who likes to do something simple but kind of enjoyable too. I just think you can't go wrong with this and you could do so many colors and things. I just wanted to keep it this color scheme. I'll tell you what, hang on a second and I'll go in there and set them up on the shelf and you can kind of see what they're going to look like. This is where the little village is going to end up and I'll do some more decorating around them with some trees and things. But yeah, I think they're so cute. Ignore the fall stuff. I haven't taken that down yet. Um, that's going to be after Thanksgiving. Maybe you can do this little craft with someone, have a really, you know, nice time just kind of relaxing before Christmas and everything kind of gets a little crazy. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. And I hope you have a really great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.